Hello gang and welcome back to another PS Vita video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vita Cheat plugin. Now I don't personally have any experience with this particular plugin so we're going to dive on in and just take it one step at a time here. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. We need to go ahead and launch our Vita shell. Okay, yes, no, do you want to update? No, not right now. Well, that'll be, there is an update for Vita Show. We'll be doing that in another video. First things first, let's go ahead and make sure we're set up for FTP. We are. We hit select to go into FTP mode. Then we're going to switch on over to the computer. And we're going to log on to our Vita here. Port. One three three seven. Okay, so we have a couple of folders we gotta make. First of all, if you're not set up with all your plugins being located in UR zero, uh, it's best to have all your plugins there because UR zero doesn't change. It's the system memory. So um, first, we're gonna create a folder, create directory, and that directory is gonna be. Vita cheat one word All right let's see yeah okay there's our Vita cheat and with the link in below I will uh, add links to these so we're gonna copy the Vita cheat SKPRX to the UR0 Vita Cheat directory. So there's that. Next, we have to navigate to UX0. Where are we at? Here, there we are. UX0. And here we also need to create a Vita Cheat directory. Okay, here, oops, wrong directory. In this directory, we're going to copy the SUPRX Vita Cheat file over to. Alright, alright, next step, we're going to go back to the Vita here. Going to close our connection here, and we're going to navigate to UR0 and our TIE folder here and the config file and under kernel we have to add a new plugin so let's see I think there we are under here we're gonna add let me see do, 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 do. you are zero forward slash Vita cheat forward slash Vita cheat dot S K P R X. Okay. I think we hit there. So you are zero Vita cheat Vita cheat dot skprx. After done with that, we're going to go ahead and exit this, and we are going to restart our Vita. Power it off. All right, just a quick correction. If you notice down here, I there was a, 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 a typo. Uh, see on the line in the in your config file should be ur0 colon four slash vita cheat and the vita cheat skprx so just a quick fyi so technically if i didn't mention it before you will need to have um, hankaku enabled or some form of um, uh, permanent firmware custom firmware 
or even uh, H Encore, which I'm running the Enso 365 since I have no reason to update because I haven't run into any games that require a higher firmware than that. So, first thing we're going to do, we're just going to launch a game, and I think we'll go ahead and launch uh, the God of War collection because why not? All right, after you guys have success, successfully uh, loaded your plugin, if you hold the left button and hit right, it'll open up the Vita Cheat menu. Um, you can use the cheat lists, which there aren't any. Oops. I think select is circle. Okay, yeah. And then X is back. And so, I don't know... Oh, maybe you can overclock. That'd be interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and go back. These are all the memory values. Go search. You can search for a different range. And then uh, you can look for different memory values. And so, but since I don't, I'm not going to spend the time to go through and how to search for certain cheats, we're going to go ahead and close this down. Let's see if I can, uh, Save this right quick. Alright, let's go ahead and add some database files. Um, here you, is the directory UX0 with VitaCheat. Now you notice we only copy this file, but after launching the plugin for the first time, it creates these additional directories. Now these are currently all empty except for options. It's just the hotkey configuration, which I believe you can change from the, um, the VitaCheat menu. So we're going to go ahead and restart our FTP server here, and we're going to quick connect again, and we're going to go back to UX0. Go to Vita Cheat, and in this database folder, I have some database files here. All these, so we're gonna copy all these over here. And there we are. Let's see, I don't think there's nothing in the memory folder here. Options, temp, all right. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back to the Vita. Now we should have some additional cheat options. So let's go ahead and exit Vita Shell. Let's see, what else can we load up here? Let's go ahead and check out. Let's just go back to God of War. Quick and simple here. Now our, we should have additional cheat options here as soon as the game loads. Hopefully, I don't have to go through all that tutorial stuff all over again. Okay, there we go. So, cheat list. Let's go ahead and hit circle. And, oh, so it found the game. This is one of the database files. So, you can do infinity, infinite hit points, infinite skill bar, whatever the orbs max is, and then rage of god max. And that's the memory values there. So how do we see? Add new address, select delete, export cheat, turn on off. Code is a circle, okay, okay. So or the circle. So you can choose to enable or disable those. So after that you just hit OK or exit which is back. Oop. What did I do? <laughs> I'm messing everything up. <laughs> we'll leave infinite on. So now we should have infinite health. So let's go in. Okay. D-pad move. Okay. Exit. Okay. Alright, so now let's go through the intro and we should have infinite health. Alright, now that we're back in the game, let's just let's just verify. We have all these turned on. And we should have infinite health. 
I went ahead and chose hard this time around just to make sure that I lose some damage. <laughs> or attempt to lose damage. Yeah, look at that. It's just flickering. So let's just verify. Let's go ahead and go back in here. I'm going to go to this and we're going to disable infinite health. And go back out of that right quick. Now you see my gr the green bar is going down. And we're going to turn that back on. And now my health is back at max and I don't lose any health. So there you go. Now I don't know all the titles that will be included with the database. You'll just have to go through and find out. Um, I'll leave links to the uh, the the site so you can look through the database to see which files it does have. I believe that all the database files that I had copied over are included. Uh, the, are the same ones that are on the website. Um, so if there's others that are missing, you can always create your own by searching memory values. Uh, take note that messing with memory values in the game could damage the game are corrupted or even your save file so do all that at your own risk so uh, I'm hoping this video wasn't too confusing so I figured if you want I can go through a quick review so to initiate the cheat it's the left button and right and that can be changed in the options menu select is circle exit is X and the select or deselect is uh, square when you're in the cheat database file locations once again let's go over that real quick and you get your set the uh, oh. you know just copy the Vita cheat SUPRX to your UX0 colon Vita chat folder that's it right there and your database folders will that folder will be created once you run the plugin for the first time now, for the actual plugin itself, it's going to go to oops, UR0 to VitaCheat. There it is, the SKPRX. I suppose it doesn't have to go to this folder. I suppose it could go to my your plugins folder, but uh, it doesn't hurt to have in the VitaCheat folder. I have mine in a VitaCheat folder at UR0. And then, yeah, make sure you enable the plugin with the config text in your UR0 tie folder config text under kernel. And here's mine right here UR0 colon forward slash Vita cheat forward slash Vita cheat SKPRX. No extensions or triggers need to be added to that, just that line. And you're good to go. So. Thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below and if it helped you out. And if, and so, and if you haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button. Get subscribed and keep coming back here for more gaming videos. I have a couple more Vita videos coming down the pipe, so keep an eye out for those. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.